In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to create geometry in FeatureCam. The first method is to use the step menu that resides on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see in the step menu item number two for geometry. When you click on item number two, a window opens and it asks you what geometry constructor do you want to use. You can select from point, line, circle, fillet, arc, dimension, or edit, or clip. And notice that there are a variety of different methods or different ways that you can create any one of the geometry constructors. For example, the line. You can use line from two points, connected lines, a horizontal line, a vertical line, a line at an angle through a point, and an offset line. So all of these different geometry constructors uh, operate similarly, and they have uh, different features that you can use to create different types of constructors. Another way is to create a geometry is to use the construct menu at the top of the screen. You'll see construct and when you click on construct you'll see all of those same features available to you and when you hover over that feature it gives you the different methods of creating the specific feature just like uh, when you use the step menu. Finally you can use the geometry toolbar that typically resides at the top of the screen. Now, if you don't see the geometry toolbar at the top of the user interface, what you want to do is go to the view menu at the upper left corner of the screen and click on it and select toolbars. And when you do that, you'll see a window that asks you to check the toolbars that you would like to see that are active. And for the purposes of this demonstration, you can see I have the standard, advanced, the snap mode, the geometry, and the simulation toolbars activated. Uh, by clicking in the, in the checkbox, you can activate or deactivate specific toolbars. And you'll see that when I click on the geometry uh, toolbar uh, checkbox, for example, and I turn it off so the check mark is not appearing, you can see that the geometry toolbar is not displayed in the upper portion of the user interface. And when I select it, you can see the geometry toolbar um, is, is displayed. And it's the same mode or the same method for each one of these different toolbars uh, that are shown in the window. And the geometry toolbar, just like the step menu and the construct menu, has several different methods or different geometric constructors that are available to you, along with different ways to create the specific geometric feature. For example, you have the circle, and when you hover over that circle and click the left uh, on the right of that uh, icon, you'll see a drop down and you can select center radius, center edge, diameter, tangent, two, two point radius, or three points. Likewise, if I wanted to create a line, I could click on the arrow and a drop down would enable me to select two points, connected, horizontal, vertical, point angle, or offset. So just quickly, that's three different ways to create geometry within FeatureCam. The first was to use the step menu selecting geometry. The next method was to use the construct menu and select the specific geometric feature that you're trying to create. And finally, you can use the, geomet uh, the geometry toolbar that resides at the top of the screen.